Hello folks and welcome to the next part of our Bloodlines 2 mod. Now, in the first part we disassembled the case and I sort of left you hanging with this thing. Well, we're going to be fixing that now and actually putting some structure back into the case and getting some of the mods going. So what do I mean by that? Well, for a start we're going to need to have a new back panel installed over here. Now this is because I'm replacing the motherboard tray with a distro plate. Now the thing is a distro plate is much much thicker than a standard motherboard tray. So that means I have to move the whole assembly forwards a bit. And because I'm moving it forwards, that means all of the other parts will no longer fit. So that does actually sort of mean you either have to mod the back of the case an awful lot, or you just make a brand new panel. And actually for me, that's a lot easier. And it means I control the whole process. Now, the other thing we also want to do is we're going to be adding a very interesting power supply shroud later on, and it's incredibly thick. So this sort of cushion effect is about 35 to 40 millimeters thick. Now, that means it will not actually fit with a standard power supply. So I'm going to be using the small form factor SF750 for that instead. And that's why we had one of those in the previous part. But that also means that I definitely can't use the standard mounting arrangement. So we're going to have to put a small form factor one in the back panel as well. So in terms of just rough planning, we're going to have a 10 millimeter acrylic panel on the back here. Now I might try to see if I can uh, use some Sapele veneer on that on both the inside, maybe the outside. Uh, it will depend. I'll give it a go. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll just have to paint it or maybe even just leave it, leave it stock or something like that. Uh, the options are open on that. But on the inside, we're going to have a uh, motherboard tray which comes all the way up to, the, up to about here, stops in front of the radiator. And then it's going to have a distro plate which will be con containing the pump itself. So if you remember we had the pump reservoir combo. I'm not going to be using that particular unit but I am going to be using the pump from that. And I'm going to be sticking the pump underneath the power supply shroud. So you won't be able to see the pump itself but you will be able to see the reservoir which is going to be on top. And I'm going to be theming that a little bit around the sort of bloodline, the bloodlines theme and also working some of the Toreador clan theme into that if I can. Now that's going to be supplemented by another distro plate we're putting at the top. And that one's going to be a functional one. So I want to have all the tubes running from the different parts straight up, and then I'm going to have them distributed like that, and then have very simple tubing runs either to the parts or to the other distro plate over here. Because I want the tubes to be nice and clean and simple, and I don't want loopy stuff. It doesn't really work for this particular style, but I want to have obviously an interesting plate and look to that. So we're going to be sticking some lights also inside the distro plate for the um, bottom. And for the mid plate, we might put some in the top. I'll have to see how that works out, but it, there's a good chance that I probably will, just so I can have some IQ integration on the top as well as the sides and the back. So let's jump into CAD and see what I've got installed. Right, so this is the model I'm going to be working with. Now I've been working on this one behind the scenes a little bit, and basically, because we've deleted the entire internal structure, we're going to have to make it all from scratch. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a new back panel out of 10 millimeter acrylic, and that's going to have a wooden veneer applied to both the front and the back, and that should tie it in nicely to these top and front sections, which are going to be made out of solid sepele. Now to those, I'm going to be engraving this lovely pattern, and we're going to be taking a look at that in a future part. But for now, we're going to be focusing on this part here, which is a distro plate, which is going on the right-hand side. It's also the motherboard tray, the rear panel, and then also you can see up here tucked away is another distro plate. Now you're barely going to be able to see this one. It's entirely there to get some nice tubing runs because the problem here is we've got everything on the right-hand side and I didn't want to have any of the tubing across the memory because I'm not a big fan of when it crosses over the lights. It looks a bit strange. So I rather have it go into the roof and of course, that also meant trying to get the GPU. So that's going to be using this 3D printed um, GPU kind of riser system here. Now I'm also going to be 3D printing some other parts for the build as well. So we've got these panel mounted combs. Now these could be CNC'd, but I thought it's a great use for the 3D printer because it means I don't have to do lots of different operations because normally if you were to CNC them, you have to do the front and then you have to flip them over to have these holes in the sides here. So it'd be much easier just to do that on the printer. It just seems to make more sense. Now what we're also going to be doing is making a cover here. So it's going to be covered in the future woodwork section. This is going to be made out of plywood. And then on top of that, we're going to be doing some lovely leather work. And that should really tie in all the themes. We've got the radiator sitting here in the front and then all the tubes are running from all the different parts in like so. Now, one of the cool features we've got here is of course, all the cable management. So we're going to have the 24 pin going out through here. And then we're also going to have an eight pin and a six pin going from the GPU in like a fan arrangement all the way over here to the sides, flowing to the back. And these are going to go through here. 
and that back behind this panel and that will keep everything nice and neat because there's obviously going to be a whole load of RGB stuff back there and we don't really want that to be seen and we're going to have a little pump mount which is going to be going over here and that's going to have the D5 pump that we took apart in the last video. So that's enough of that, let's get this whole toolpath up and put on the machine. <laughs> 